I'm Jeff Darst, Associate Professor of Pediatrics and Medical Director of the Heart Institute Wellness Program. I'm here today to tell you about a unique program we formed about three years ago in our division. It is a team that takes advantage of skills and talents already in the hospital. Made up of psychology, social work, child life, spiritual care, medicine, and palliative care, the wellness team members work to round out the care of patients in the hospital from a psychological, social, and spiritual perspective. Suffering, even when short-term, comes in many forms, and our team hopes to relieve some of it for our families. We have come to the understanding that medical care we provide for children is only part of the story. Our outcomes at Children's are exceptional, but it is not enough to just have a good technical procedure or the right medicine or even a well-written progress note. The effects of medical illness, whether chronic or acute, last much longer than the time in the hospital. And even when kids feel pretty well physically, they may not feel as well mentally. Their parents and siblings may also be struggling, and this team is here to help with that. Resources are limited, so we sought to build a team out of parts we already had. Many hospitals have social workers and child life specialists and chaplains. Fewer still have dedicated cardiology-based psychologists or palliative care specialists. Ours are really ours, though, within our division of cardiology, so they know the families and the conditions we treat. Combining forces and expertise onto a single team now allows these experts to lean on one another, learn from each other, and refer to each other to ensure each family gets what they need. Each member of our team may enter a room and ask, how is it going? Not only might that answer be different for the patient, the parent, or the sibling, but the way each of us hears that answer may be different. A child life specialist may be listening for a piece while a psychologist might pick up on another nugget that may open up a new way to support a family. When we get together, as we do every week to discuss patients in the hospital, care can be tailored to each family. We spend an entire hour coming up with a psychosocial care plan for a single patient when that's needed. We get referrals from inpatient teams to review family dynamics, patient expressed worries, spiritual struggles, or even whether or not it's appropriate for staff to get gifts for patients to whom they are especially attached. It may seem odd that a doctor is telling you about a program that involves many non-medical specialties, but we view the medical input as essential. First, it removes separation, because there is none, between medical care and the overall experience of a hospitalization. Also, the medical status and prognosis of a patient, good or less good, can be challenging to glean for non-medical providers via chart review or even attendance at rounds. For the past three years, we've held a family event outside the hospital for different populations of kids for which we've cared over the past year. We've held events at the zoo, a pumpkin patch, and at an arcade. We provided those events free of charge through the support of our own division and now through a generous donor, Jesse's Heart. We emphasize to families that we want siblings involved in these events too. Siblings can get unintentionally de-emphasized when another child is ill, and we want to make sure the whole family gets to enjoy a special event together. Kids find that they are there for the fun, but parents have found some camaraderie and unexpected connection with others that have shared experiences. One parent asked if this was an entire room full of kids with heart transplants. I won't forget her face when we told her that this was only a fraction of the kids with transplants that we care for. We hope that these moments will reduce the isolation that comes so easily with medical illnesses and allow others to find hope in some of the darker times. We're proud of our surgical outcomes at Children's, but we don't want to lose sight of the softer outcomes. Children are surviving heart surgery at a higher percentage than ever before. We want kids not only to get the very best care for their hearts, but also be supported and surrounded by a family that can tolerate the turbulence that comes with medical challenges. We're surrounded by science and technology, but we really view this as just being human. Illness is stressful, the practice of medicine is stressful, and technology is increasingly replacing personal connection. We hope to resist that a little and see families as they are, where they are, and do our best to help. For more information, contact us or please visit our website.